Hello, I'm Chris Jones. I'm part of the GB orienteering team. Today I'm going to talk a bit more about intricate contours, how we can use them, how we interpret them, and how we effectively use them to find the controls. Contours join up points on the, on the ground that are of equal height, and they show, therefore they show the shape of the terrain. Here at Tensmuir, because it's a sand dune terrain, the, the contours are two and a half metre intervals which means that every contour is two and a half metres higher than the last. Normally, orienteering maps are five metre contours, but it depends on the terrain. Okay, so we're at the top of the hill at control number one, and we can see over there, we've got the ridge going away from us. We know it's a, a, a very steep ridge because it's got the, the contours are very close together. The ridge carries on, but it's a lot shallower. So the contours are a lot uh, less close together. Just before the, the control here, we've got this little steep re-entrant, which you can see it's a little uh, V sh shape of contours on the map. And it's a sort of lovely um, sort of steep re-entrant up around into the control. The key to these areas is knowing when to use the detail and maybe when to, to simplify it and maybe pick out the key features. So if we're going to, towards control number two, which is on a, a re-entrant, what I'd probably do, and is, there's a lot of contour detail between me and the control, but I'll probably pick out two or three key features which are going to lead me there. So first of all, uh, the bottom of the ridge, because it's a, a two contour ridge, it's quite a large feature. A lot of the other features are maybe one contour features which are a bit smaller, but I know that I can go over to the bottom of the ridge and just run along the bottom, use it as a handrail, and then it curves round into a re-entrant and that'll be my attack point. And from there, I'll go over the ridge and drop down into the re-entrant where the control will be. And now we're here at control number two, which is in this, this re-entrant. And when we were talking about control number one, we had that lovely V-shaped re-entrant. This is a lot rounder and you can see that it's a lot sort of wider. The other re-entrant re was very narrow and steep. And even if as we're coming over to the control, we can't see the re-entrant because it's a, it's a feature that goes down. What we do have, we've got these two big hills, one just there and then one behind us over there, which are, are much bigger than the sort of surrounding features. So we can sort of look for them as we're coming into the control. We're now at control four, which is a small depression with a, a small hill behind it. And this is quite a different part of the area. So from control four, where we are now, we'll go north uh, across this uh, area of contours, but we won't pay attention to any of those contours until we get to the sort of this steep slope. So these two, two contours, we know it's going to be steep and this flat area without any contours. And from there, we'll head across this flat area to the next spur and just at the corner, uh, there'll be a, a hill with the, with the control on and the control will be the far side of that hill. Originally I was just looking for the, the slope and the flat area but we've got this really big three contour hill on the far side and then this spur that sticks out into the flat area which are actually really really big features much more obvious than the features I picked out originally and actually really strengthen our attack into the control. Sometimes it's difficult to figure out which way's up, which way's down. Number one, if a contour has a tag on it, it points down the hill. Number two is if you can find a fully closed contour, a circle of a contour, then if it doesn't have a tag on it, it's a hill. So if it's a circle contour and it's got a tag in it pointing inwards, it'll be a, a depression. So one of the main coaching points from today is that you don't always have to read all of the detail. You can often simplify and use the bigger, steeper or more distinctive contour shapes, handrails or attack points, take a safe route and enable you to find them fast. So get out, find some intricate contour detail, get out into the train. It won't come all at once, but you'll, you will, with experience, get better and good luck. Mm -hmm.